What's up? If you clicked on this video, you are ready to learn a sick new choreo. Choreo is a great thing to learn and practice when you're learning how to shuffle because it can kind of teach you how to throw together moves, how to transition seamlessly and all that good stuff. I'm gonna be teaching you a four eight count combo. It's spicy, it's fun, it's electric. So I hope you guys enjoy, but without further ado, let's get into it. Mm, 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 mm. Starting out this choreo, we're gonna do two poly pockets, starting with our right leg. We're gonna go one and two. Then we're gonna do a third, three, and then instead of coming to perch on our third, we're gonna do a little scissors variation where we go ba and twist and point our toe. So that from the back is one and two and three. And so my weight is staying on my left foot as I go from the poly pocket position. And then this heel kind of just moves over as I point my toe. So just practice that if you need to. Ba, 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 ba. Use your hips. Again, poly pocket is all about that hip puh, motion. <laughs> so that's one and two and three and. From here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of kickstand our legs out like so. Because we're gonna come back to that position. So we're just gonna go ba, ba. So my left leg jumps back, my right leg kind of lands on its heel forward, and then I go back into my tucked position. So ba, ba. So all of that together is one and two and three and four and. Okay, let's try that with the counts together. We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, practice that a few times. Get that diggity down. Cause the next part is where it gets a little tricky. We are in this tucked position. And what we're gonna do is go into a little circle glide. So the circle glide is tricky, one. And two, the floor's a little sticky. <laughs> That rhymed. It's a little bit challenging right now, so bear with me. But what, what it's gonna look like is we are gonna untuck our feet as we glide back. And then we're gonna switch which foot is on its toe. So switch, toe, heel. And then we're gonna glide together and switch. Glide apart and switch. Glide together and then we're gonna come and sweep our leg up. So this is one of those moves I actually recommend taking off your freaking shoes and practicing getting the hang of it first because it's so hard to do when you're trying to overcome the stickiness of your shoes, right? So at least when you're in your socks, you can at least get the rhythm of this glide down. So freaking get in your socks, find a hardwood floor, find a good surface to do this on. We are in this tuck position. We just went ba, ba. We are going to put our weight onto our toe as we glide this foot back. So minimal weight on this sliding foot. Even though we're in our socks and it's easier to glide, still practice putting minimal weight on this foot. We've glided this foot back, we're going to put our heel down, boom, and put our toe up as we kind of rotate this way. And that's because we are now going to glide our feet together, boom, and switch. And then we just repeat, glide, Apart, switch, glide together, and then we'll go into how we transition out of this in a second. So you can really think about this move as two parts, okay? So it's glide apart and switch, glide together and switch. Glide apart and switch, glide together, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I called it a circle glide. We're actually not doing it in a circle at all. We're doing it in a line. Okay, so from this tuck position, we glide along that horizontal line. Boom, we glide together along this horizontal line that's on the floor this way. We switch, glide apart, together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're not doing it that many times, but I really just want you to keep practicing this 
until you get a good groove for it. Because it's all about the feeling. And that's why I want you to practice it without socks. Because you got to get the feel for it. And then put your shoes on. And it'll make it a lot easier. Okay? All of that together is poly, 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 toe, kickstand, toe. And then pause for one count. And then we're going to go glide, switch, glide, switch, glide, switch, glide, sweep up, and running man. So it's glide on six, switch on and, glide on seven, switch on and, glide on eight, switch on and, glide on one, come up scoop on and, hit running man two. So I'm giving you the counts, but a glide is smooth, right? We're not going one and two and three and four and, even though that's kind of how we're learning it. So focus more on hitting the six, seven, eight, one rather than ands. So it's six, seven, eight, one, and. Okay, then focus on bringing your leg up on that and. Those switches will happen roughly at that and count, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Just focus on, like I said, hitting those six, seven, eight, and one. Okay, let's try it together from the top. Put on your shoes, leave them off, whatever feels most comfortable for you. I'm gonna do one more go without my shoes, then I'm gonna put them back on. Five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two. Now, I lied one more time, but I'm actually gonna do it with the words because I think it makes way more sense. We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. Go lip, sick, and shake an acid. All the girls want backstage passes. Lip, sick. That was so much easier to teach. I hope that was easier to learn that way. I'm gonna put back on my shoes, but again, leave them off, leave them on, do whatever feels comfortable for you. Moving on to the next eight counts. So we've just gone one, and two, and. So it goes lip, stick, and then we're gonna do a little booty shake as we kind of wrap around our arm. So our arm kind of goes like this, kind of whoo, a little bit of that action. Circling around our head as we kind of go up, pop the booty, and then drop it down, okay? <laughs> so that's circle up, drop. So it's lip, Stick and shaking asses. And then we're gonna go, all the girls want backstage passes. So it's kind of a little bit of like a whoop, scoop your booty up, and then go backstage passes. So I'm literally just going ba, 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 ba. Feel free to like shake your ass, do whatever you want, you know, have fun with it. Uh, <laughs> scoop lip. Stick and shaking asses. All the girls want backstage passes. And that's the second eight count. Really simple, okay? But it's spicy, so add your flavor, add your little pizzazz, do whatever you want. Feel free to add your own little twist spin on this part, okay? So from the top, it is lip, Stick and shaking asses. Pause. All the girls want back to pass his lip. Stick and shaking asses. All the girls want backstage passes. Boom. Let's try it together. Five, six, seven, eight. Go lip, stick and shaking asses. All the girls want backstage passes. Lip, stick and shaking asses. All the girls want backstage passes. Boom. Okay, I hope you guys don't mind me singing the words there instead of the counts because I just think it's so much easier. <laughs> let's try it with the music because that's the first half, but let's do it at 75% speed. So I'm gonna play the song on YouTube, which if you didn't know, you could do that. Now you do, you can play songs on YouTube and change the speed of it, which really, really helps when you're practicing choreo. So let's do it. couple of things as I was just practicing that I noticed that I didn't mention. So after we do the scoop up and go running man, I realized with the booty shake when I kind of pop my booty, I really kind of like kick my leg up. So it's kind of like a bah, bah as I circle around. So as you circle around your arm, your leg kind of comes up and around. 
bah, and I kind of pop up on my toe, bah, as I drop into it. So it's like smooth. So it's like one and two, three. And there's also like a little bit of a half count pause here before you go up. Just remember to go up on all the girls want, okay? That's when you go up, that's your cue. That's your moment, baby. So moving on to the next part. So we just ended backstained passes. We did our little booty shake, booty bounce. Now we're gonna go land our feet out to prepare us for a little karate kick spin because we're gonna go lip, stick, and shaking asses. Lip, hop our feet out. Then we're gonna bring our knee up as we hop to center. So we're kind of almost in like a preparation step. Then we're gonna kick forward, almost like a little side kick. You can see, and this is gonna kind of build our momentum. You don't have to hold this here, I'm just demonstrating. Then we're gonna go up, and then it's like a little scoop kick to bring us back to facing the way we started, okay? So it's step, kick, scoop, land, okay? And that scoop will actually help you, I think, kind of finish the turn the way you started. I find that it really helps me kind of get back to my center and stable, okay? So again, lip, stick and shaking asses. So I almost think about like scooping the ground as I do it. Boom, and karate, and scoop, and land. So we're still hopping on every half count with this leg, right? Watch this leg right now. So it's one, and two, and three, and four. Notice how this leg hops on every half count to get me around. So let's try that together. Five, six, seven, eight. Go one and two and three and four. Okay, four is that running man. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Go one and two and three and four. So after our spin, we go one, two, three, four, five. We do two running man, four, five. And then we're gonna go into a rock for six, seven, eight. So we're gonna go six, seven, eight. So if you're unfamiliar with rocking or the T-step, that's just gonna be a T-step. We're gonna T-step and tap back, up, T-step, tap our heel, up, T-step, tap our toe, up, running man on one for that next eight count. So from the back, that's lip, stick, and shake and asses. All the girls want backstage passes. Lip, okay, so that's one. So let's do it with the counts. Five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's add on that eight count from the very top, okay? I'm gonna do it from the back. Five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, and four, and five, Six and seven and eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and one. Sick, okay? Now let's try it all together with music. 75% speed still. Sick, 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 sick. We are almost there, guys. So close, we are so close. So, we've just ended our rock with a running man and we've switched legs. We're gonna do one more T-step, going to the left, and we're gonna tap our heel forward and out. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna go into a snake glide. Now, at least I call it a snake glide on the shuffle ball and it looks like this. Ba, 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 ba. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so let's break that down from the back. So we've just gone T-step, and we're gonna go into a little soccer kick. So this leg's gonna step over as I kick my other leg into the air. So that's just ba, 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 ba. Use your hips to kind of twist. That's what this move is all about, twisting. Okay, and imagine you're like kicking a soccer ball. Boom, that way. Uh. And then I say that as if I've ever played soccer. And then we're gonna go back onto our right leg 
and kind of kick your leg straight up in the air or however feels right. And then we're gonna go step, tuck, glide. All right, so again, breaking that down, it's soccer kick switch, come back as this leg comes around, ba, ba, and glide. Again, watch my feet closely. Soccer kick, come back, swing around, jump, step onto this foot, tuck, glide. This move may seem or feel complicated if you've never done it, but I promise once you get the hang of it, it's easy breezy, okay? So, soccer kick, step, bring around, jump, step, glide, okay? So we bring it around, and then I do a little jump in the air on my right foot, bah, and then I tuck it, which we've seen this tuck position before, right? And then we glide back, uh, uh, uh. The counts, that's one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Now, from here, what we're gonna do is a little retuck. So we're gonna come, whoop, right back to where we started. So keep your weight on your right foot, so on your foot that's on its toe when you do this, right? So it's glide back, weights on this foot, glide back, weights on this foot so that I can easily glide. Ba, ba, and then we're just gonna return. So it's just a little like in-out movement. So it just kind of looks like ba, 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 ba. And then to finish this eight count, we're just gonna do a little heel toe action. Six, seven, eight. So going over all of that with the counts, it's running man on one, T-step two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and. And we're actually just gonna continue on the and because with the words, it actually does that as well. So let me actually show you what it looks like with the words. So it's lip, stick, and shaking asses. All the girls want backstage passes. Again, lip, stick, and shaking asses. All the girls want backstage passes. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. All right, let's try that last eight count together with the counts, and then let's add it all together. Five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and. This floor is so sticky, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> so let's go over the full thing from the top. I'm just gonna kinda call it out. We're not gonna move at any particular speed, okay? I just kinda want to go over it. So it's gonna be poly, 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 tuck. Then we go out and back. Then here we pause, remember? And then we go glide, switch, glide, switch, glide, switch. My shoes are so squeaky. Glide and up, running man. Then we do our little sexy booty pop and up and drop. And then scoop up. Backstage passes, jump out and kick and scoop and running man, running man, T step, T step, T step, running man, T step out, ba, snake glide, we soccer kick, we come around, we glide back, we tuck back in, we glide back, we pause for half a count, seven and eight and. The end, you're free to go into whatever you like. Let's try it, not with the counts, but with me singing horribly, because I know you guys probably love that. I think it's really the easiest to follow along. Five, six, seven, eight. Go lip, stick, and shaking asses. All the girls want backstage passes. Lip, stick, and shaking asses. All the girls want backstage passes. Lip, stick, and shaking asses. All the girls want backstage passes. Lip, stick, and shaking asses. All the girls want backstage passes. One thing I wanted to mention is that when I do the karate kick spin, one thing I kind of like to do is like a little lasso move. So I go back and then I lasso arm as I kick forward and scoop up. So it's like lip, stick, and shaking asses. You can do whatever arms you feel. Just trying to give you some ideas. Um, there's a lot of freedom and room to make this your own and be creative with it. Um, even like in the rocking, feel free to do whatever you want with your arms. Mm, mm. 
All right, let's try it at 75%, a couple times, and then we'll do it full speed. <laughs> One last time, full speed, baby. Let's go. I took off my headset because it's just way easier to do this without it, so. I count you in like this. If you didn't get this already, I've been counting you in like this. Five, six, seven, eight, okay. so much fun creating this choreo and filming it just now if you can tell but if you guys liked it let me know in the comments below and i will create more videos like this it's been a minute since i've been on the tube but also if you want more shuffling tutorials check out the shufflevault.com it is my library of all the things i know about shuffling with 100 plus tutorials an eight day beginners course literally everything you could ever want or need to know about shuffling so I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and tag me if you do this choreo and I'll see you in the next one.